Hello everyone, I'm Jim Johnson and I want to welcome you to this video training program. This is a segment in the Technical Training Associates HVACR troubleshooting series and the specific problem of this segment is a heat pump that's not delivering any air. What we're going to be doing in this particular video training program is going through the process of troubleshooting this specific problem to determine whether or not the indoor air handler is the source of the problem or if it's a control component that's not allowing the blower motor to run. We're also going to be talking about the idea of replacing a blower motor with an OEM component, original equipment manufacturer, or in the event that you can't get the original equipment manufacturer component, using a general replacement motor that you need to do some adapting for in order to get it into place properly. We're also going to be talking about the tools and the test equipment that you need in order to troubleshoot properly. And we're also going to be using a resource guide. Your resource guide comes packed with your video on a separate self-print CD and when you print a hard copy what you're going to notice is that there are going to be some blanks that need to be filled in and we're also going to be using some wiring diagrams. What we want you to do is get a set of colored markers so that you can go along with us as we trace the circuits and fill in the blank information. You're also going to notice in your resource guide that one of the topics that we're going to cover is the very fundamentals of the operation of a multiple speed motor so that we can apply that to the troubleshooting procedure also. So that's how we're going to be getting it accomplished. So what we're going to do now is move on to page one of the resource guide where we're going to answer some of the questions that you need to ask yourself when you're troubleshooting any particular problem with a piece of equipment. And when we go to page one of your resource guide, what we're going to be taking a look at is two of the questions that we always ask when we're trying to find out what the source of a problem is with a piece of equipment. Question number one, like it says, is what is the specific type of equipment? And what we have here is the information. We mentioned earlier that it's a heat pump. We want to be specific now and tell you that it is a package unit that we're going to be talking about because in some cases, if you're troubleshooting a package unit as opposed to a split system, your fundamental procedures may be a little bit different. And we're also going to determine that this is a 230 volt single phase piece of equipment, which is another specific issue to understand relative to troubleshooting either the control system or the motor itself. Okay, what we've done here is we've taken off the entire top of this package unit so that we can make it easier for you to see when we troubleshoot this specific problem. We've also taken these components, taken them out of the control box and mounted them on the top of the unit so again, so we can better show you the troubleshooting procedures. Now as you recall, we mentioned that the outdoor fan motor, like we said on this particular unit, is in fact operating and we also mentioned that the compressor was running and by the way, we know that the compressor has a charge and the system has a charge because we are pumping heat as we say and we also know that what's happening here is the problem is that we are getting a lot of flood back to the compressor. In other words, the suction line is much too cold and the reason for that is, as we mentioned earlier, this coil right here, because we have no airflow through that coil, it is actually frosting up and that's one of the symptoms that we mentioned earlier. So what we're going to do is make a check here on the 24 volt side of this particular relay coil and when we check down in here like this and we make the connections what we can see when we take a look at our meter is that we do in fact have 24 volts applied to the coil so what that tells us is since we're checking at the brown wire that's directly from the transformer as shown on the diagram and the green wire that comes from the thermostat that there's no problem with that thermostat because it is in fact doing its job of energizing the 24 volt coil on the relay. And now the next step we want to show you about is using a puller so that you can get that blower wheel separated from the motor shaft. This puller is very simple. It's one that we can use on several different kinds of equipment. 
And as we get back to our package unit here that had the failed motor in it that failed electrically, we've got the new one in place. And in this case, it was an OEM, original equipment manufacturer, so we didn't have to do any adapting, but we do have it back in place. And as you can see now, the unit is gonna be operating okay. And that brings us to the end of our training program. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something from it. If you want more information on other Technical Training Associates videos that are available, you can call us at area code 520-625-6847, or you can visit our website at techtrainassoc.com. This is Jim Johnson saying we'll see you next time.